here we go again. Yeah, I keep thinking, sure, it'll take like an hour. And then like now it's like two o'clock. It's been like four hours. I haven't eaten lunch yet. Do I look a little crazed? Because I'm hypoglycemic and crabby and tired of this. Anyway, it's also Easter, which is a holiday some people celebrate. Mostly it's springtime and it's a good opportunity to think about all the blessings we have, right? Here we go. Chapter nine. Um, so there's quite a few things. I also realized that I had to, you're not going to see this till it's too late, but I had to go back and put something in chapter eight to have everybody sign up so that chapter nine, we have more plants to, uh, for people to research and know about. So hopefully y'all did that. And um, that would be really, really, really helpful. Anyway, um, so here we go. Overview and outcomes. And I'm going to go there because I think it's easy enough to read. Plus you'll see this there anyway. Maybe you already saw it in the announcement which is great, then you can skip it in the overview and outcomes and just read the content. But please at least do one, although I'm preaching to the choir, which is so often the case in teaching. Anyway, so I think I said this in the um, overview or in the announcements or somewhere, that uh, in making this, this week has kicked my ass. So it go a little light on you. And plus it's the week after spring break for you when you see this. Um, so that might be good. And then I saw that there's plenty of stuff to do, so I think it all evens out anyway. Um, I know nothing about uh, landscape design apps and software. I've never used any of this stuff. I've heard of it through permaculture design stuff, and mostly it was like, oh, that sounds difficult. And I've always stuck with pencil and paper. But because this is 2021, and um, just because I'm an old Luddite doesn't mean that you guys should be. Um, you're probably going to have way more uh, ability to figure this stuff out than I. And even if you don't, it's okay. Um, here are different things about landscaping design stuff. Um, free landscaping design software, although you know how this works. They will try to sell you things. Oh, get the upgrade to do these features. You know, don't do that, right? Just the point of this right here, this assignment for 10 points. Um, and it's in, it's, uh, you get assigned one uh, software and then you have to choose the other one based on whether you are a Mac user or a PC user because they're actually for either Mac or PC. So we might even out or we might have a lot more PC people than Mac people. I don't know what. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is you're going to look at two different of these software programs and try them out. Um, maybe it's like, oh, this is wonderful. I can totally like, you know, use my whatever this thing is, the mouse pad or my mouse and like make some cool stuff. Or it might be like, I, I don't even know how to like log in or I don't know, right? So we'll just try it out. We'll try it out and see how it goes. And then you will critique. So that when we do this, which is coming up by the way, week nine, I'm gonna give you a peek of week 10. I don't think it shows yet. You see that this is what it looks like. No, actually this is what it looks like before I get anything in there. Yeah, anyway, it's scary, that blank canvas there gives me stomach ache, but that might be because I haven't eaten yet and it's already almost 2.30. Um, at least the kids got out of the tub and stopped screaming. Um, anyway, so critique the uh, software programs. So when it comes time to do your final landscape design project, which is something in this class, that you might say, oh, this seems reasonable, I'll give this a try. Or you might be like, F all those programs, I will stick with pen and paper because this is bullshit. I don't know. We'll see. That's the point, though, of doing this and kind of spreading it out evenly so that not one of you has to um, look at like six different software programs. You can thank me later for that. The soft chalk this week finishes up the Malvids. Like, bye, guys. I really do love this group of plants. And then begins the super asteroids, which is the biggest group of plants, the Asteraceae, in fact, and the Orchidaceae, I don't remember which of those, is the largest um, plant family. So this is a big group of plants, and it will take us all the way through to the end, um, which is kind of cool. We also had, I added it just now, though, to the week eight, the last of the uh, signups. So we just have three rounds of that. And it's cold. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Like I can sort of feel the summer, but it there's so much to do before then for me. If you are wise, you do not take on too much because it's not good for you. Anyway, that's my old lady words of wisdom right now. Uh, yeah. 
It's good. You can tell I'm distracted. Uh, plant 111 through 125 for this week, which got um, researched last week, we hope, because it seems that I've noticed this pattern. People who sign up for the very last week are often the people who don't get it done. So that like, oh, cool, it gives me so much time. It doesn't seem to work because you're not getting it done. But again, I'm talking to the choir here. Um, but for the round three signups, for those of you that, you know, were like quickly signed up for the last possible week, don't wait until then to do it. You could get it done now. And then you don't have to worry about it and turn it in late when it's due. Yeah. Anyway, more cheap advice from the old lady here. Um, normal, normal, normal. Cool, this guy is awesome. I will have the great, I don't know how it'll be, but I think it'll be great. I get, to, um, he's joining my class, my College of the Canyons botany class for just a 30 minute Q&A. And I'm super excited because I think he's kind of a big deal. And I'm just thrilled that he um, answered my re request, that he said yes, and that we'll get to chat with him. So I don't really know much about him yet, but I do love what he does with his podcast. And I got his book and I've read like the first three pages of it. Um, but I'm, I'm super excited. I think he was the guy who did the interview of, um, crime, crime pays, but botany doesn't Joey Santori. Um, and he's done some fantastic interviews with some really cool people in the world of plants and botany. We also have our next plant library practicum. I think you guys, I mean, the first one, like you kicked it, but, um, you guys did really well. Like everybody, I think pretty much got probably A's, huh? Maybe missed like one or two. Maybe I make it too easy. Oh, well. Um, anyway, so this one has more plants on it. It's 40 points. Every single plant is on there, but you might not see all of them because I make them in pairs and you have to, cho the canvas chooses one of the pair and whatever. Some are Latin names, some are um, common names, and then there's pictures and whatever. Um, personal plant library number two. So we just get adding more plants as we go. That's our check-in for that uh, on the 19th. Why is it due on the 19th? Oh, shoot. Tell me. I'll have to look at that. That looks like it's probably Monday of that week. At some point that made sense to me, but it doesn't right now because I'm too tired and strung out. So, and then just the normal stuff. Round two, plant presentations and profiles. Um, we don't get into round three of those until uh, week 10. Okay, so I think that's it for that. Hopefully it's kind of a light week, I hope for you. And I hope that um, this next week for me having College of the Canyons um, not having class gives me a chance to catch up a little bit on grading so that the next time I do this, like week 10, I'm not like, ah! And I hope for your own sake too, as you watch this after completing spring break, I think. This is after spring break, yeah. So weird, this timing, um, that you are more refreshed and relaxed. And if, if you didn't go take a little vacation, then I, I, I'm telling you right now, you go find some grass and lie down for five minutes and not think about anything except the clouds. That's your most important assignment of right now. And I'm going to end, oh shoot, I almost forgot. I'm so forgetful right now. Here we go, pronouncing the names of these. It's 126 to 140. Okay, you guys. Hemerocallus hybrids, which I already said last week because I was spaced out daylily and heuchera. Sanguinea, now everybody knows what that means, right? Hosta hybrids. I'm going to try some of these in my garden. I'm super excited. Okay, like shade too. I'm always trying to find good things for shade. Um, Iberis semperviren, so something that's evergreen right there. Uh, Juncus. Um, there we go. There's a California guy. We love that. A rush. Rushes have, sedges have edges. Rushes are round. Um, Juncus patens. Lamium maculatum, the dead nettle. Um, it doesn't actually bite you like the much, much better um, stinging nettle does. Um, but this is probably a little more uh, ornamentally, horticulturally uh, attractive, aesthetically appealing. Lavendula angustifolia, the English lavender. I'm looking forward to that profile, whoever signs up for that, because I can never tell the lavenders apart. And there's some that I really love and others that I'm not super crazy about. And I never pick the ones that I love to put in my yard because I don't know which species they are. Uh, Leucanthum cross superbum, used to be a chrysanthemum, but it got a new name, uh, probably because of taxonomic analysis, the DNA stuff that, that those botanists have been doing. Shasta daisy, 
Um, Limonium perezii, otherwise known as status, Limonium perezii, um, super great plant for like areas that nothing else will grow in, hot and dry and ugly, um, like parking strips and medians and whatever, and pretty, and even nice in bouquets. Miscanthus sinensis, different hybrids of this Eulalia, um, Japanese silvergrass. Nemesia cerulea, um, fruticans, different hybrids of Nemesia. Um, Ophiopogon, Ophiopogon jabiron. Uh, this plant I have a kind of a hate hate relationship with. People plant it all over the place and it's outrageously invasive and really hard to get rid of. And I'm just digging this crap out of my yard all the time. Anyway, um, Pelargonium cross hortorum. That's a geranium. Penstem and hybrids. These are lovely. And then Salvia gregii. I'm so glad to see some of the Lamiaceae getting represented here because this is a lovely, I know I say this all the time, a really, really cool family. But this family is like the sages. It's wisdom. It's medicine. It's awesome. And also, when they are drought tolerant, uh, that's even better and amazing for pollinators. So now I will be done and I'm going to go eat some lunch. Bye.